Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to the Unconventional Homestead. This morning, I'm putting potatoes in Nelly, our freeze dryer. Back around Thanksgiving, so it's now January 26th, uh, one of our gas stations, believe it or not, had potatoes. They have a little grocery store in there. Um, had a, potatoes for 20 cents a pound. So five pounds for a dollar. I stocked up. Every time I went by the grocery store, I went in and I got like 20 to 30 pounds. So I've been doing potatoes now for quite some time. Anthony measures them out in 10 pound increments. Donna, my friend, peels them, puts them into a container with water, and then I slice them, drain them really well, put them on the trays, freeze them, hopefully for at least 24 hours, and then into the freeze dryer. And I bag them, I have some that were done earlier. Um, I put them in five pounds per uh, Mylar bag with a 300 cc oxygen absorber. They're turning out wonderful, they're crunchy, um, and they'll be a great way to get sale price on potatoes all year round. So, I have four trays ready to go in Nellie. I defrosted her overnight last night, came downstairs earlier this morning, wiped it out and turned it on so that it would start chilling. And now I'm gonna put them in. have nice lids, covers. Um, I have three sets of trays and two sets of lids. That allows me to have two batches in the freezer waiting to go. I'm not used to standing off to the side. <laughs> I do have a pillow insert that I bought on Etsy. Um, we have our freeze dryer. Nellie is in our basement. And in the summer, there's lots of moisture. Right now it's not too bad, um, but it really has helped with not too much ice around the outside. The, the message just came up. We have a camera tied to the rest of ours. And so, and it's just on the um, screen. So I can read it from work or if I'm upstairs. So I will bring you back when I pull them out and package them. But again, remember, a freeze dryer is a great way to lock in prices and process quite a bit of food. So we'll have links below for our Harvest Right um, affiliate link. Be looking for more information about a collaboration that I'm involved in with Angela, the inquisitive farm wife for freeze dried February. There's gonna be some great content. So I hope that you'll stop back, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in just seconds for when they come out of the freeze dryer. So we are emptying or, or seeing if, oh, these are nice and warm. Our potatoes are done. The eyes. But if I haven't shown you, we have a blank indoor camera. And let me get you on the tripod so I'm not gonna jiggle you all over. So here we are. I make sure that they're dry. So it was 10 pounds of potatoes that I put in here. I sliced them with my robo coop and blanched them and then I pre-froze them. And I've, I put five pounds sliced potatoes in the date.
get the other two trays out. Again, I do make sure every tray is warm. I don't want any soft potatoes. I don't want any soft food. But I do feel for cold spots. I've kept Nellie running just in case I have to quickly add some more time. I have had that happen. Because um, I don't like to waste food at all. Even, like I think I said, I got these potatoes at Thanksgiving time. We kept them down in the basement in a closet. Um, and we've been doing 10 pounds here or there. And the last few weeks, we've really picked it up. Um, okay. So then I have a oxygen absorber. I believe these are 300 cc's. And I'm gonna go seal these up. So here are the two bags we did tonight. I triple seal them just to make sure. I do have a few bags that we did in the last week and they're crunchy. I like to leave them up here. In dehydrating, we call that conditioning, making sure that all the moisture is out of your food. And I really think that that is a great idea for freeze drying. I just wanted to show you, there's part of my pantry that's the canned goods, obviously. Um, I hope that you'll share this video with other like-minded people. And if you're interested in a Harvest Right freeze dryer, our affiliate link is down below. Make sure you check out the collaboration that we will be participating in in February, freeze dried February 23. Um, we will have a video later in the month, but we'll be putting videos out to remind you all to stop in and check everybody else's. So until next time, keep preserving your food.